so this isn't so much a tutorial as it is a maybe a very niche category of Pornhub. Uh, it should at least give some insight into one of many ways to use the lovely MAF sequencer. Um, so yeah, I'll be in this case starting out with just very rich harmonic sound source from the 259 and uh, I'll be CVing uh, the odd and even harmonics through uh, slow cycling envelopes from the 281. So the MARF has two layers of sequencing addressed by the top and bottom row. Uh, the bottom row relates to timing, which I won't be using here. And I'll start with a simple five stage sequence, uh, setting uh, start and end points for the cycle. of these same values across the next five stages and I'll explain why later. But yeah, the nice thing about having 16 stages uh, is you can split various sequences into looping segments and then assign individual stages uh, to trigger any other sequence. And you can also apply uh, specific attributes to any given stage like uh, quantized values or pitch shifts or glides etc but in this case i'll be using one layer of the sequencer to set a melodic line and then another to transpose the melody for the same shared sound source so it's a really straightforward idea uh, for now i'm just going to try and match these two um, these two five stage sequences. And the reason um, I made the sequence cycle twice is I wanted a slight variation in the first one, but also because the last pulse of the sequence can act as a sort of clock division to trigger the transposition stages. Um, in this case, it would be stage 10, so I'll assign that. transposition sequence starting on stage 11 cycle point ending at stage 14 then I can take a pitch CD from the second sequence and route it to the input of the uh, 259 stage sequence which is uh, triggering every time every time it hits pulse 10 so it's giving me a division sequence to uh, the second pitch input of the 259 label keyboard, which doesn't have attenuation, so I'll use a 257, uh, which obviously does a lot more than that, but for now I'll use it for, uh, for control over the pitch range of the transpositions. So 
done some fiddling around, we can eventually get to a, a transposed melody. Um, and once I've got something that's workable, I can then, of course, completely abandon it um, in favor of patching the same sequence values to the top and bottom of a 258 oscillator, for example, or um, using the transpose sequence to run a bass line. Um, then I can go back and pitch the 259 through a spectral process or a 296 before going into a 292C low scale to make a sort of sound. 